Good morning. Let's start our day out with a joke. Are you ready? <laughs> uh -huh. What happens when you tell an egg a joke? What? It cracks up. <laughs> ah. All right. Hello, friends. It's Miss Robin. It's good to see you this morning. If you'll remember a few weeks ago, we did a program called You Got This, where I went over some life hacks with you, how to learn to do some new things uh, that you can help out with around the house and use to become more independent as you grow older. Uh, I helped you with folding laundry and starting a nail. And if you didn't see that video, go back. It's still posted on Facebook and you can watch that. Well, I've decided today to do another You Got This, but this one's called You Can't Beat an Egg. So let's go ahead with that. Let me tell you a little bit about eggs. Eggs are extremely nutritious. They're full of protein, full of vitamins. I think they said they've got most of the uh, more common vitamins except vitamin C. They're only 75 to 80 calories an egg. They're great to use for any meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, any meal. Uh, we especially use them at breakfast, but I like to eat them at nighttime too. So, eggs. When I think about eggs, of course, we're talking about cooking the eggs, and I want to review some cookbooks that we have in the children's department. We have lots of cookbooks in our library, in the adults and young adults and in the children's. This is just a few of the books we have in the children's department on cooking. So if you're interested in a cookbook or learning some lessons about cooking, come check one of these out. I first want to reference the book I did on the first program you got this, How to Be a Person. It is just a great book written in a fun manner. And one of the chapters in there is on edible food. How to make <laughs> meals and find your way around the kitchen. Now why it says edible food, I don't know. Most food you should be able to eat, but... There's things in here such as how to whip up a smoothie, and today how to scramble eggs, how to perfectly boil an egg, make salad dressing, quesadilla, I think one's on chopping an onion, how to roast a chicken. I'm getting hungry. Uh, how to make spaghetti, you might want to try that. How to set the table, lots of things about cooking when you're just starting out. A great book to check out. All right, let me just show you a quick sample of some of the cookbooks we have in the library. I'm just going to run through them kind of quickly. Simple, one, two, three, kids. And here's a couple pictures from this book. Right. Just chapters on different types of foods and things you can make. Um, oh, I don't like snakes, but there's a silly snake sandwich. <laughs> That one doesn't look too bad. All right, here's one called The American Girl Cooking Recipes for Delicious Snacks, Meals, and More. Um, doesn't have as many pictures in it, but it does have some. Here's creamy tomato soup with cheese toast, for example. Sounds good for winter time. Now, we have a series of four or five books that talk about different things you learn at school, such as math and technology, chemistry, and they all have experiments that do with food in those books. And this was math you can munch. Fun way to learn your math. We also have a series of books that are from different uh, cultures and food from those cultures. Here's one called the Italian Foods and Culture Book. I think we have one on Russian foods, Vietnamese foods, that type of thing. So if you want to experiment with learning to cook food from a different country or culture, check out one of these. All right. Sandra Lee's semi-homemade cool kids cookie. She takes things that you buy at the store ready-made and mixes them with homemade things to make a recipe rather simple. And this one has lots of pictures in it, which I like in a cookbook. The Children's Step-by-Step -step Cookbook. If you've never cooked before, this is a good one to follow because it really breaks down the things you need for cooking and how to do each step. Makes it very simple for beginning cookers. Cookers? Is that a word? Cookers. <laughs> Chefs. There we go. Thank you. 
Pink Princess Party Cookbook. Ooh, Ooh. my kind. Snowflake meringue cookies. Let's see what else. Oh, look at that flower pot dessert. How cool. It is. Wow. This has got a lot of neat things in it. Huh. It's got a few crafts in it, too, looks like. Looks like a fun book. All right. Peanut butter and jelly sushi. <laughs> it's party recipes is basically what this book is about, but it has a lot of fun things in it. And this is a book that features a boy named Jack Witherspoon. He wrote it with his mom when he was 11 years old, and he is an aspiring chef. He wants to be a chef. Well, he's already a chef, but he wants to do that as a career. <clears throat> and is one of his first cookbooks. All right. Maybe you guys would like to check that out. Here's one. It's not so much about recipes, but it's weird stuff you didn't know about food. <clears throat> Very interesting book. Uh, I think it even has a little section on eggs in here. Just tells about the nutrition of eggs. Uh, it says the color of an eggshell. Doesn't tell you anything about how the eggs taste or how good it's for you, or what color the hen's feathers are. But some people say that white eggs are laid by hens with whitish earlobes. <laughs> Who knows? But it has a few recipes here and there. This is really a fun one. Omelette in a bag. It's how you can actually take like a Ziploc baggie and make an omelette inside that bag. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. One last one in the library, The Angry Birds, <laughs> Bad Piggies, Egg Recipes. Guess what? This book is filled full of egg recipes. Entire, entirely. That's it. Pick a pie, breakfast pie, Mexican egg roll, uh, baked omelets. Let's see. Egg sauce. <laughs> I bet the birds have a pork too. one, too. We're going to have to grilled look at that. Grilled eggs. Have you ever heard? Of, I had never heard of grilled eggs until I saw this recipe the other day. Actually cooking them on the grill. Oven oh. eggs. I've seen mm -hmm. where you can cook them in the oven. I've never done it before. And the pictures are funny, too. But this book is entirely filled with egg recipes. All right. Come check one out. <laughs> All right. Today, we're actually going to... Take a minute, I'm gonna wash my hands while we're talking, to take a minute to cook a couple egg recipes that you might like to eat at breakfast. One is scrambled eggs, and the other is what I call eggs in a basket. Some people call them eggs in a nest. I've even heard it called toad in a hole. Eggs in a hole. Is that eggs in a hole, is that mm -hmm. what you call it? I call it eggs in a basket. I guess it just depends on what you were, uh, what you heard from home or what region you're from, maybe. All right, let me plug this in. All right, we have a little two burner um, electric stove here at the library. We don't have a big oven stove type thing. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, scramble some eggs. And I like to cook mine, uh, you really need to cook scrambled eggs kind of slowly. Uh, they taste like rubber if you just cook them really, really fast. I'm going to put my heat on about medium to medium high. Really, medium is best, but we don't want to take too long today. And the only thing I've done ahead of time is just put a pat of butter in the pan. Now, I'm going to take two eggs. And you will need to practice cracking your eggs. You'll become an expert really quickly. Oh, my gosh. Some people like to crack them on the edge of the bowl. I never was very successful doing that. Uh -uh. I need to crack mine just on the countertop. When I crack and it then, on the edge of the bowl, the eggs go the Yeah, egg sure, me too. Take your thumbs <clears throat> at the crack and kind of press in and pull apart. Of course, you can't do this as well when somebody's watching. Can right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do two today, two scramble, two eggs. And the key is to pull it apart. I can't yep. ever pull get it, Alex Push your to do thumbs that. in and pull apart at the same time. All right, I like to add a little salt, just however much you want, and a little bit of pepper. 
And then I like to add a couple of spoons of milk per egg. I think it makes it a little more fluffy. Some people don't do that. I like to do that. I'm not going to measure it right now. Guess maybe one, two spoonfuls of milk. I've heard some people use water. I just use milk. You can whisk your eggs with a whisk. If you don't have one at home, a fork works just fine to whisk that up. Just want to incorporate or mix the milk in with the eggs. Okay. I think that looks good. All right. The main thing is just to get a couple eggs and practice. Practice to become a master at scrambling eggs. All right, I think our eggs are ready to add in our pan. And hence the word scrambled eggs. What you're wanting to do is scramble. In other words, you want to keep your mixture moving. You don't want it to just sit. You want to keep it moving around your pan. And you see how the egg's starting to cook there? You want to gather it from the edges and then go across the middle of your pan. Already starting to look like scrambled eggs, isn't it? Uh-huh. Starting to smell like Waffle House. And I'm going to actually get this burner just barely heating up over here or something else we're going to do in a minute. Mmm. When you cook things and they get hot and you take them off the heat, they'll continue to cook for just a minute longer. So don't overcook them. Then they get kind of rubber if you cook eggs too long. All right, what do you say, Miss Susie? You think they're about done? I looks, think they're about done. I think it looks good to me. Mm -hmm. All right, at this point, I would take them off the heat. And something else I want to point out. If this was the front of your stove and you're cooking, you never want to have your handle sticking out like this. If you have a little brother or sister that walks by, they could knock it off and the hot food come off on them. Or you could just hit it and knock it in the floor. So always keep your handles turned around. All right, I believe we'll take that out and put it on a plate. And there is our scrambled eggs. Hmm, looks good to me. All right. All right, let me set this over here and we'll continue with a Another recipe. All right, we're going to make the eggs in the basket. What'd you call it, Miss Susan? Eggs in a hole. Egg in a hole. Egg in a hole. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take a piece of sandwich bread, just a slice, and cut a hole out in the middle. If you don't have a cutter like this, just take a glass and turn it upside down and cut out a hole. Or I guess you could take a cookie cutter and make a design, actually, out of it. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, see how I have that in there and I just push it out. And actually you say that to use as your toast. They say that the person who cooks the egg gets uh -huh. to eat the cutout. Oh, gets to eat. oh wow. Yeah, okay. that's, that's the... That mm -hmm. All right, now my butter is melting in this little pan here. I'm going to lay the hole or the nest or whatever in the pan. I'm going to take one egg, and crack. If you want to crack it into a cup first until you get used to doing this so that you don't get shell in the uh, pan, might be better. If you crack an egg in there, I'm just going to add a little salt and a little pepper. Now, if you like your eggs a little more runny, you'll not cook it as long. If you don't like them runny at all, you can cook it till it's completely done, or you could even, pre even press and mash this yellow out so it runs out and it cooks a little more. I do that for mine at home. My husband likes his like this. <laughs> but you don't really do anything. You cook this fairly slowly. until the white starts cooking in the middle.
Mm, it's gonna make us hungry, isn't it? Uh -huh. mm. If you had a bigger pan, what you could do is go ahead and put your toast in. Well, it fits okay right here. Let it be toasty too. <clears throat> Did you eat these growing up? No, okay. but I was a nanny when I was in college. Oh. And so uh, the boy I was a nanny for had his grandmother there on the weekends and she would make egg in a basket. Oh, and okay. I didn't know what the heck it was until she made so it. So she taught you. Okay. Yeah. And when it gets done to the, uh, like you like it, just flip it over and let it continue to cook on that side. And that is eggs in a basket, eggs in a hole, eggs in a nest, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right. Hope you have an extra special day. <laughs> Come join us next week. All right. Bye-bye.